territory into points. Oh, almost. Oh, able to hurdle through. No, no, and it appeared to be a, a short-lived advantage for New York. This will stay with the visitors. Can he split the sticks once again here at Aviva? That one will stray one. And they're running out. Babascane will send it back into touch. All right, line out, five meters out for New York. Hold. Move. The captain brings it down. He's in the side. Don't change your line. Go there. Ball under the arm of Fawcett. Can they stay in play and dot one down, or can Houston hold it up? The verdict. <laughs> Referee got caught on the opposite yeah, pass. This was a five meter so, scrum, no not anymore. It was held up, so in goal, a drop off. Looks so like yeah. 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 held up is going to be the call. And that's a big win for Houston. Again, Andy Ellis, your scrum half, in off the bench. Fuatai. Just a great tackle by Makanufe coming off the wing and getting that spot ball in the backfield. Anufe, the Olympian, saw him in Rio. Ko. Back to Emery, former super rugby man out in New Zealand. And Houston caught standing still for a moment, but still no real estate to be had by Ellis. Lots of pressure coming up no, from the three. outside in from the Sabercats. They know New York is looking for that spot ball at the back. A couple times here, the outside is coming up on the defensive line, stopping that early. Backwards. A break for New York. That ball backwards to Benasso. Some open space. Thought about going to his feet. The support wasn't there. But how about another miracle for New York? And it's going to culminate in five points. Pago Heine. OK. So let me Please. get things right, clear. So white five obstructed yellow player that prevented wow. him from tackling. And then that's why it's going to be no try. And then we'll get, have a penalty at the 10 minute line. Is that? Yeah. 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 Mr. Captain. Duarte summed it up right there. Take the points Captain. off the board. And Obstruction. That, and that seems right to me. We're watching that replay. But also. Hold. New York has been in the postseason each of the two years that MLR has had a postseason during New York's existence. Smith, turnover, stays backwards though, back to Smith, doesn't have to pay for the miscue. On the perimeter, La Miscane. Look. I'm leaving this one on Chauncey. Sit. That's Chansey, Chance Wengluski. Ellis up to midfield. Each side has flirted with that try line, only to be denied and disappointed. Breaking free into some space. A little support trying to find Jack Hyten, the Kiwi. But a little sloppy from New York. The pressure on the outside getting Kutzer to go ahead and dart back inside. He gets caught alone. Defense players on the top getting that steal, and away goes New York. New York's with the stop and the tap and go oh, right now, quickly across midfield. On the perimeter, a foot race. New York looking for the first try of 2022. The wait is over. New York is on the board. Dyer instead calls his own number. Oh, uh, what a pass to play from Houston. The vice captain, Christian Dyer, Jesuit alum, Cal alum coming out here. Had a great showing for the USA, 7s and 15s, and getting the try for Houston. I mean, just a kick out the back from New York, picked up by Makanufo, finding Labascane and him darting through the middle. And then that was that man, Smith, that we talked about. He had a couple options there. He was dumbing a couple runners, finds it out the back. Dyer had Boyer on the outside. The drift defense goes right in front of his face, and he gets the try. I mean, you were thinking Houston was pressuring and pressuring and pressuring, and just then from the kick and the counterattack, it finally opened up for the squad. Mr. Boyer comes on to help hold this ball. 
for Kutzer in the wind. This is the best angle a kicker has had tonight, the fly half. Able to split the sticks, and Houston has its first lead. It comes here in the second half. And I think this is the second time in two matches that Christian Dyer's got a bloody nose. The guy is absolute war out there. And here's Makanufe. He's got the ball, gets his hands free, gets the offload. Lavascani in the outside. Great dart right to the middle. And here's the pump pass out the back, the throw, the Kudzer, and there's just an easy dummy ball out to the outside, the drift defense. I mean, you are frothing at the bit when you see the shoulders of a defender turn that much in front of you. You just know you're going straight through. Dyer, just an absolute professional, knows exactly what he needed to do, went straight through and scored the try. Houston does capitalize on the man advantage. Again, you had to pick your poison with both Dyer as well as Boyer out there on the wing. And everybody bit on the dummy to Boyer. You know, the Cal connection on the outside. Both products of the University of California, Berkeley. Great to see them out there playing so well in the MLR and contributing to this Houston franchise. How many? Four. 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 Incredibly class players. Line out for New York. Successfully into Tucker. No hands! Leave it, leave it. Release now! Release! Coming in, heightened. Taku! But oh, rudely wow. met by a pair of Sabercats. That is an absolute defensive wall. Just who's going to win that car crash? Nelson Genge. Again, very few personnel changes for Houston in this one. Ellis recalculates. The wind got a hold of that. Rabolo able to look it in, though, the Brazilian. And New York just going backwards. The Sabercats win at their back. But again, the try scorer almost getting free on the sideline again. There's a whistle. Those two have history from earlier in this match. At the whistle before Fidel started to break away. Take another look at the sideline here. Nice fed, another mismatch on the corner, but it's just stepping into touch. Unlucky for New York, but that's what you got to look for on the edge, finding those mismatches. And just a little bit of a cheeky play at the back end there. And tempers are high. Everybody is on that boiling point. Two points the difference with 10 minutes left to go in this match. Houston staring down possibly their first victory ever against New York. New York still down a man with their captain sidelines. We are doing substitutions. Here you go. There was substitutions going on. I cannot do it. Yeah. Let's go. We need to whistle. Let, let, we're doing substitutions. Yeah. Time is on. The captain getting ready to reemerge. No, no. Let me check. As I note, back over to New York. Turnover. Now trailing by two. Close confines will set up the next phase. Off, off the ball. It's been Benasso full speed all times. Houston took exception. Take a look at it here. New York doing everything they can to penetrate this Houston defense. The ball taken through and just a massive hit off the ball by Ben Benasso there on the left side. Obviously, Houston. Upset at that. 
tackling the man without the ball. The tackling captain the warming the back ball. up. In his absence, Houston has captured its first lead, putting up its first seven there points. Is no yet, so you can clean it. Okay. Your guess, as good as ours, how this one will wrap up. Play. And the wind prevailing over all 29 competitors on that line out. Hayton. Oh. And a knock on by New York, and they'll. May have had an advantage to play with. No. Ah, uh, New York getting that turnover. Just a long ball going over the line out. The tail gunners at the back. Nice job spinning the ball wide, finding a bit of a gap, and just that continuity piece, dusting the rust off. That's probably the hardest part with rugby is those tight passes in the tackle, trying to find your support runner. Yeah, there's a bit of composure that comes with that game once you go it out wide and is it a 50-50 ball that you're trying to give or an 80-20? Smith and Houston with the scrum. Winners last week 21 to 11 over the defending champs. No, trying to knock enough. off a yeah, Eastern yeah, yeah. Conference yeah, power yeah. here in week two. And we need to go. Yeah, let's go. I got you. Let's go. Houston in a little less of a hurry nowadays. Let's go, Frankie. Let's go, Coach. Bind. Six. Ball emerges for Smith. Ta tackle now. Nice strike move by the vice captain coming in there from the 13. Flop me on the ball. Take the ball down. Take it away. Take it away. Number 21, flopping the ball, needs to roll away. This, the windy conditions, for the most part, are making a decision for Houston in this chance. You're not going to see the tee come out as often as you might. As Kutzer will send this one and try to set up a line out. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Might be a bonus point for the win before this is all said and done. The captain reemerges, along with support. Yeah, yeah. Caleb Geiger, the hooker, will come in. Now for Houston here, you can't fall asleep. Tell this on. New York team has proven the fact that they can break the line, get around the corner on the edges, especially with Fidel out there. Take a step. Take a step. So a sense of urgency here to go ahead and get another score needs to be paramount. In New York on the road these first three weeks now. It'll be March 6th when they hope to see their fans Come out to Hoboken for the first time. Stay. Stay. Tackle now. Tackle. Freed up for Smith. Those legs still churning for Matai Leuda. Through the middle, please. The former Eagle. Van Vyke, no, the lock, no. who's come on. Playing it from the side. Another penalty for New York. They're trying everything they can. They've been great at the breakdown, getting dinged up here. Have we hit the 75th minute in fitness? A big issue. They were getting over the ball pretty quickly. Now coming in from the side, another penalty. But they know Houston is happy to slow this ball down and run through the faces and tick down this clock, so they've got to make something happen. Yeah, that's the benefit of kicking to touch here rather than just trying to tack three more points on. This is for you guys. Mr. Kutzer. You need to come from the gate. You cannot play from the side. Yeah. Dean Muir is still on, the captain. Another line out steal for New York. And that's exactly what you wanted if you're in New York. You got to get this pill and you got to move it away. 
They continue to have the answer on those lineouts when pinned back in their own end. No hands now! Fidel with his most recent carry. Tough sledding in the middle. Boyer. Oh, put his head down. Never saw it coming. And that's a tough knock for Nick Boyer. Oh, I know. A blindside flanker and Bonasso just running angry still in the 77th minute. Yeah, Nick Boyer's going to be done for the night. No hands! New York needs to stay clean, meanwhile. They have time. Do they have the discipline? But now, this is that part of the game where ball retention, ball security, and contact area is the absolute essential thing you need to do here. Hold on to the pill, keep on marching down, phase after phase. If it takes you 20 to do it, you got to you got to do 20. Just two points separate these two sides. Police. Smith hoping to strip that ball loose. And freed up by Fuatan. These teams are absolutely gassed. It's been a battle with the wind in your face. Massive tackles, the breakdowns have been contested every single time the ball carrier's been in contact. And New York still running through faces, still retaining the ball. Spacing out on the wing, Labascane. Off to the races, Fidel. Not once, but twice. And what a brace for Ed Fidel. Dots it down and back on top. And who's your favorite here in New York? Fidel on the corner, we talked about it. Just looking for something on the edge, a little bit of an advantage. And Fidel so strong on the corner. He was locked up with the 15 again. And Lavascani and those two have had <laughs> More than one word to each other throughout this match. Got the better of him again for the corner for a try. And New York, I don't know how many phases that was, but that was an incredible pass to play to maintain the ball, maintain possession, going backwards, hitting the corner and around it to get the try. Incredible composure from New York. Let's take another look. Each time, power has Trump speed in this matchup. The time is on now. Yeah. Time is on. Let's go. One minute. And Fidel all smiles I'll, I'll check. after the final okay. Houston yeah, obstacle. Yeah. You got a guy like Labascani coming at you, and Fidel knows he's, he's a friend of the corner. He understands his skill set on the edge. A guy goes high like that, you get your fend out, you get him right in that pocket in the chest, right by his arm when he's reaching out, trying to arm tackle you instead of hitting through the tackle, and he got him done on the corner. Windsor 0 for 2 on kicks today. His second bite at the apple on a conversion. This would be a big one. It would make it an unconverted try, but that's what he's up against. Let's go, let's go. MLR's all-time leading point scorer into the driving winds. And so far the winds are undefeated. But New York is back in the driver's seat for Kutzer in the wind. This is the best angle a kicker has had tonight, the fly half. Able to split the sticks, and Houston has its first lead. Absolutely gassed. It's been a battle with the wind in your face. Massive tackles. The breakdowns have been contested every single time the ball carrier's been in contact. No hands, no! And New York still running through faces, still retaining the ball. Spacing out on the wing. Labascane. Off to the races, Fidel. Not once, but twice. And what a brace for Ed Fidel. Dots it down and back on top.